I'm in an unusual position. I work in a studio, so bands that want to make recordings of their music come here to express themselves. So I get to see a steady stream of people doing unique and personal music to satisfy themselves for no other reason than that they are driven to do it, right? I cannot take seriously the idea that music is now not good or that music is now not serious or not substantial or that the there are not people trying to express themselves because I see them every day. That is my that is my entire client base. I would have closed up shop a long time ago if that if those people didn't exist, right? I I think it's an extra, ex, I think it is a mistake to to equate the superficial tier, the, the superficial level, the top tier of mainstream pop music, which is always going to be aggressively promoted and is always going to be saturating all of the media markets and is you know going to be in you know the top of everybody's news feed and you know and every on every playlist on Spotify. Like that stuff is always going to be bullshit. It's always been bullshit. That sort of mainstream mass consumption music is always going to be awful. It's, there was a brief period, there have been several brief periods where different idiomatic elements of the underground or the legitimate music scene have been brought to the surface and have been sort of skimmed by that industry, the mainstream industry, right? There have been brief moments of that. But by and large, pop music is awful. It has always been awful. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Sarkissian. I'm an independent filmmaker from Toronto.